Laura Ashley wallpaper can help you create a truly beautiful room. In this video, we will show you just how easy it is to decorate with Laura Ashley Paste the Wall paper. First, check you have the equipment you'll need. A tape measure, spirit level and pencil. A long-haired roller and tray, or a paste brush. Laura Ashley adhesive. A bucket in which to mix your adhesive. Wallpaper scissors. You may also want to use a cutting guide and sharp trimming knife. A paper hanging brush, or a smoothing tool if you prefer. You'll also need a bucket of clean water and a sponge. You won't need a pasting table for pasting the paper, but you will need a surface on which to cut your paper to size. Your walls will need to be in good condition. Any old paper removed, holes filled, and the surface washed with sugar soap. Start by marking a vertical line to which you will hang your first length. Plan to hang your paper so that it will be easy to cut a piece to fit at internal corners. For free pattern match prints, such as stripes, simply measure the height of the wall from top to bottom and add 10 cm to allow for trimming. For prints that must be pattern matched, first decide how you would like the pattern to appear, then cut the first length to the height of the wall with 10 cm added for trimming. You'll need a clean dry surface on which to match and cut each length. Unroll the next drop and pattern match it to the first as it will be matched on the wall, and then cut it to length. If you prefer, you can pattern match at the wall as you hang the paper. If the ceiling height in the room varies, you should measure, cut and pattern match pieces one at a time. You may want to number and mark the top of each piece with a light pencil mark on the back of the paper as a guide to hanging. Laura Ashley Paste the Wall wallpaper is quick and easy to hang. Apply an even coat of the paste to the wall with a long haired roller or a brush beyond where the edge of the paper will be positioned. Hang the paper making sure its edge is in line with your marked line. Smooth the wallpaper from the centre outwards to remove any air bubbles. Trim the top and bottom of each length by creasing and cutting along the creased line with your wallpaper scissors or use a cutting guide and sharp knife. Paste the wall for the next wallpaper length and hang it, carefully matching the pattern. Tap the edges of the paper down gently with a dry wallpaper brush. Remember to wipe off any excess paste from the face of the wallpaper. To paper around switches and sockets, brush the paper gently over the fitting, then make neat cuts from the centre to the edges, creating four triangular flaps. Cut off each flap, leaving a small edge around the fitting. Make sure the electricity is switched off at the mains before loosening the fitting's screws. Ease the fitting away from the wall and gently push the edges of the paper behind. Reposition the fitting and tighten the screws. For door and window frames, cut a 45 degree angle from the edge of the paper to just beyond the corner of the architrave. Using a straight edge, Trim off the excess paper around the top and side of the architrave. 